time now for Dollars and Cents, where I answer your money questions and help you navigate a changing economy. Governor Newsom signed a bill that will require California high schoolers to take a financial literacy course to graduate. The semester-long course will be offered by the 2027-28 school year and make it a requirement by 2029-2030. I talked with educators about why financial literacy matters and the lessons we can all learn when it comes to being smart with our money. I'm very excited to learn about managing all of it and like as I get older getting a job and having to take care of taxes. In my adult life I think learning about money in the economy will help me especially after I'm like 18 and I get out of college and stuff because college is expensive. Curious minds and enthusiastic teachers like Ellie Valencia at Sierra High School in Manteca are helping students prepare for their financial futures. Financial literacy can set them up with a good foundation for possibly saving for retirement or future education, maybe opening up a business in the future. Research shows the need for financial literacy is great. One survey shows high school juniors and seniors nationwide have surprisingly low levels of financial understanding. 27% reported being ready to estimate what their monthly payments might be after college. 47% of students say they understand how to read a paycheck and what determines net pay. 32% felt they could read and understand loan offers and repayment information they received. Learning a, a financial literacy is a lot of times like learning a new language. UC Davis economics professor Derek Stimmel recommends starting small, knowing some basic financial terms like credit, interest, and budget, and understand what a credit score means and who is a beneficiary. What are some of the healthy habits that teenagers and young adults should be putting into practice? Just a lot of times it's the basic things. It's sort of learning how to kind of have a budget of sort of, you know, say, what, what do I have to spend in a month? Uh, what are my expenses? Uh, am I living within my budget? Also consider your savings and avoid bad debt. A lot of times we think, oh, the stock market or the financial markets in general, these kind of are very, you know, opaque and can kind of be very scary. Um, and so the kind of sooner you expose yourself to them and kind of learn about them, uh, the less scary they become. I want them to understand the value of money, how it can affect them as an adult, and really give them a good foundation to prepare them for that. Experts say teens and young adults should be careful of student loan debt. High schoolers and college students will also likely get bombarded by student loan offers, and those could be confusing to navigate. So experts warn, don't sign up for a bad loan that you don't understand. Mm -hmm. All good advice. <laughs> and what are some other things, so financial mistakes, for example, that students can make? Yeah, Chris, the main pitfalls experts tell me are getting into credit card debt and not being able to pay it back and then having to default, which will hurt your credit score. We have a list of 20 basic financial literacy terms on our website, abc10.com. That's where you can also find my other dollars and cents coverage. You can also scan the QR code on your screen or email me your questions at lpainter at abc10.com.